So here is a uh, uh, Latitude D820 and what we're going to do is uh, turn it on. It was sent to us by a customer who said it had video issues so um, we turned it on. It seems to get power and there we have it. Um, we have a post beep. Um, we're going to see if we go any farther than where we're at. Uh, system continues to run, so we're probably going to have uh, a number of uh, few minor things with it. Maybe a reflow in the end, uh, but what we're going to do is take and uh, hook the system up to it and see if we get a display on it externally and then go from there. Okay, with this system, we're going to turn it on. We have the uh, screens uh, in parallel here. And uh, unlike the previous time, we do not get a hard drive. So uh, what we're going to say is uh, since we do not get a uh, memory or a uh, BIOS notification for the power adapter, and uh, we don't have any hard drive, indicators we're going to say that most likely this is going to be uh, either one of the three processor uh, rarely is it a processor when it's with the Intel like this memory it could be memory or it could be a reflow but what we're going to do is check all three and see where we go with that and then uh, do it just as precautionary so first thing we're going to check is memory to go uh, before we go any deeper So the first thing we see is we take this uh, side this bottom panel off is that this system has a one gig stick Which could cause the system to uh, Ground and not turn on so what we're going to do is pull this stick out There's most likely probably a one gig stick underneath the keyboard and underneath that keyboard uh, it's going to keep it from uh, turn it on but uh, we'll just check this one because it's the simplest so we turned it on and we're going to see if we get any video on a external display which we have no hard drives running and we have uh, no video on the external so we're going to say most likely it's not the uh, memory for right now until we can get to the other side and check it but what we're going to do is take the system completely apart and then go from there to test it. Alright, so now we have our board out. And before we test our memory, we're just going to uh, reflow these chipsets. Um, if we were going to test the memory and found the memory to be bad, we would uh, reflow the chipsets anyways as a courtesy. So we're just going to start out with the reflow. We'll reflow this MVS chip. Then we'll move to this Intel chip, and then we'll move to this uh, Intel chip and do it. So, uh, let's just heat this up and go from there, but uh, that's what we're going to do uh, here in a few minutes. Okay, so now we've taken our board off the uh, unit, and we're going to let it sit here and uh, rest. And uh, we'll come back in probably 30, 45 minutes and test it and see what's happening with it. Alright, so now we've let the system cool down. What we're going to do is uh, we're going to test the memory and uh, the video at the same time. So what we're going to do is uh, turn it on and see if our reflow took and if the uh, memory is good. So we have it powering on and let's see there we go we have video so what we're going to do is put this together and um, do our burn in and go from there and see what happens so now we have our system up and it's in the BIOS uh, we're going to let this count down um, but before we do that we're going to get some information here so we know that it's the system that was sent in and we know that the uh, 
timer's going right there, so we're going to let it count down. And after it gets done, say two or three hours, then we'll call it a completed and working system. But uh, we'll let it run and go from there. Okay, so we've ran this system for its burning. And uh, we still have video. And it's right at seven hours. So what we're going to do is take this unit, put it together, and then go from there and see if... Uh, you know, we can't get video on the ex on the internal screen and everything's complete. So, for right now, we're going to call it done. But, uh, we're going to put it together and see how that goes.